morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, December 21st, 2015. The beginning of winter today. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Shenzhen, China, which is the center for manufacturing facilities for many Western companies, including Apple Computer, which contracts to Foxconn, has experienced a tremendous amount of building growth in the past 10 years. The building growth apparently has come at the expense of several things. One being the uh, creation of a mound of old construction materials and dirt and rocks uh, that rose over 300 feet high. Well, that mound uh, came into a landslide stage uh, yesterday evening after days of heavy rain inundated the area. 85 people have been uh, reported missing. 33 buildings have been completely destroyed. Uh, this is in an industrial park in Shenzhen. Um, the city, of course, makes the products used around the world ranging from cell phone to cars. Residents blame government officials, saying the pile was too big and it was too steep. Uh, the pile actually covered an area of 380,000 square meters. Um, it has uh, now, in a, as a result of the landslide, uh, created a uh, a mud flow some 33 feet deep. Uh, the uh, pile had been uh, 330 feet high and had been pushed up against a hill, uh, especially over the last two years. After the rain came, the water drained through the hill into the mudslide area, um, or I should say into the pile area, which then caused the whole man-made mountain to begin to move, causing the tragedy. AM Best is announcing that it's uh, holding to its 2016 outlook for the global reinsurance sector. They're saying it's going to be negative, citing the significant ongoing market challenges that will hinder the potential for positive rating actions. The title of the report basically says the whole thing. Reinsurance outlook maintained a negative, redundant reserves, benign catastrophes, mask reality. Uh, and Best is saying that uh, the weak operating fundamentals are being exacerbated by continued weakening demand from primary insurers as they retain more business to leverage their own excess capacity. Best notes that while a broader cyber reinsurance solution in the market uh, may over time provide some new business opportunities, it's too early to gauge any potential benefits. Well, it's the first day of winter here in Australia. It's the first day of summer. Uh, you don't have to tell that to the Australians. Some unbelievable heat records have uh, been coming. The temperature at the airport in Sydney um, yesterday was 109 degrees. Uh, the temperature in downtown Sydney was 106 degrees. Neither of these temperatures, despite being as high as they were, were records. They were just short of records situation though in the rest of the continent is uh, relatively severe in terms of wildfires go. Uh, Victoria and New South Wales have been particularly badly affected. New South Wales has seen more than 40 blazes that are currently ongoing as we speak. In Victoria several fires are in progress near the towns of Scottsburn, Epping and Elaine. If you're driving in the United States you probably notice that the price of regular gas has dipped below two dollars a gallon. That's because Brent crude oil prices have hit their lowest levels in 11 years. Oil production uh, globally is running at record levels. More barrels are poised to enter the market from uh, Iran and Libya. Uh, the price of crude is going to continue to drop. Uh, consumers are enjoying this largesse. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia, uh, which essentially controls the OPEC spigots, is continuing to run at full strength in order to produce petrodollars the pain this is causing on smaller OPEC members is immense. China's leaders have signaled that they will take further steps to support growth, including widening their fiscal deficit and stimulating the housing market to put a floor under the economy slowdown. 